Good morning everyone, I'm Laranya Kumar, I'm going into METRI this September and I'm going to be showing you a day in my life of a student in RSS. Keep in mind that this day in my life can be very different for various students in the eight week program for RSS because we all have different supervisors and we're all working on different projects. So we work very closely with what our supervisors want. Today I'll be going in at 9 a.m. to do an experiment, a PCR in the immunology lab, and then I'll be analyzing those results and then I'll be going to the gym. So I'll take you around for that. Who's watching now? At a time I'm trying to find myself oh, no. sitting on the balcony we're gonna start making dinner soon and we're gonna be cooking some pork dumplings okay so that was a day in my life of a student in RSS the last part of my vlog is to answer a few questions that were submitted to the school Instagram account and I'll be answering the questions to the best of my knowledge I do know that the application process for the four week program and the eight week program is pretty similar. Um, so hopefully I have everything down and I'll be able to answer most of the questions to the best of my knowledge and be as informative as possible. Can you do a brief explanation of what it is and how to apply? So the four week program is pretty structured. It's a nine to five and they teach you a lot of the basic research skills, data analysis, how to look at statistics, lab based skills. And they also have a student innovation challenge towards the end. So you work in groups and you basically use all the skills that you've learned over the first half of the month to like get to like do a project together and present it. And there's like winning teams and everything. But I thought that that was pretty hands on and it makes the four week program pretty interesting. Um, for the eight week program, it really varies person to person. Um, I did mine um, on lab-based research because it was chrono vaccination so I worked in the immunology lab and learned how to analyze different types of data than the ones that I already know how to analyze and I learned a lot of new lab skills um, because I've never done lab-based research before and then what aspects you should highlight on your CV cover letter application in order to get a place in the RSS um, the four week program and the eight week program, the application process is pretty similar. You have um, a one page CV and a one page cover letter. 
and you submit that. So for the four-week program, you just submit it directly into Moodle. And then for the eight-week program, it's a bit different. There's a link for Moodle and you go into it and there's like maybe 60 projects to look through. And in each of the projects, you can click in and you can see the abstracts. And um, basically the supervisors would have written an abstract of what their research topic is about and what they're trying to do for their research topic. And basically what they're looking for in their student who's interested to apply for that research topic. They also write out below like what the student might gain from the research project. So um, certain project abstracts had like, oh, that the student would get a publication. Certain, certain abstracts would just say, oh, like you just contribute to the research pool because there's not a lot of research on the topic. Um, mine was one of those that it's, it's a pretty like up and coming topic. So um, I'm just contributing to the research pool, but I'm happy with that because I'm happy to get the experience. For me personally, for the eight week program, how I applied for it was I looked at each and every one of the projects and shortlisted the five that I was interested in. And by the way, you can apply for up to five, but you don't have to apply for all five. So for my topic on chrono vaccination, which is a project that I'm doing now, um, when I was writing the cover letter, I wrote that I covered immunology in med two semester one, and I found it really interesting. And I thought I really, really enjoyed it. And I loved to, I loved learning how vaccines worked. And I was very much interested in contributing to this pool of research because it's a very like up and coming topic, but it's also a very relevant topic and it's very broad. And I like that idea that I wasn't very specific on, you know, as specific certain part of medicine. Other aspects that you should highlight, because I already covered the cover letter for the CV, I'm not entirely sure what most students covered. I can talk about mine personally, that I had research experience in the past and I've had publications and acknowledgements, so that's what I put in my CV. But obviously there are um, other students who don't have research experience and they still manage to get eight week research projects. So it depends on what your supervisor is looking for, whether the supervisor is looking to, um, is okay and willing to teach like a new student. The other questions, it's can first year medical students take part? And that's a yes. Um, there were a lot of med one students in the RSS four week program. And there were quite a few who managed to get projects in the eight week program too. So yeah, it's possible. Um, can I join after my first year? I'm in med two going into med three and I managed to get on the RSS program. There were even students who were in Med 3 going into Med 4 doing the four week program. It's never too late to learn research or to be interested in it. Um, so yeah, I, there's no cutoff on like when it's too late to do it. Like you can apply for it anytime you want. Um, do physiotherapy students partake in RSS? And if so, what type of research would they do? Um, I don't know a lot of physiotherapy students, but I did see in the eight week program that there were projects targeted towards physiotherapy. And so, yes, it is possible for physiotherapy students to take place. And even for pharmacy, there were a few um, projects that were just targeted towards pharmacy and pharmacy students. So yeah, be sure to look out and actually look through the list of projects for the eight week program, if that's what you plan to apply for, because they do um, do specific researches for depending on the student body and they're like looking for a student from that sort of course um, and for the four week program i would say that knowing the schedule it was very like varied it wasn't very um it wasn't very in-depth into just like medical research it was also like it was mostly like scientific and very broad like just teaching you how to analyze data like the basics of research um how to look for good sources and all of that sort of thing. So it would be possible for a physiotherapy student to partake in RSS and still learn a lot because um, the four week program also does teach you very much basic stuff. Um, what skills, uh, examples, research, writing, coding are explored by students on the RSS? So for RSS, the four week program, you learn about practical lab skills, you learn how to how to like start a research project, how to write a thesis, um, how to do scientific writing. So that's very good. Um, I don't think that you learned much on the coding, but you learned a lot on how to analyze data, how to put your data into tables and how to like um, work with your data a lot of the basics of research skills. So I thought the four week program was actually very, very good for students who haven't really done 
research before because it does teach you a lot on the basics of it. And if you're applying for the eight week program, the skills that you explore really depend on the project that you're doing. So for me, I did chrono vaccination as my project and I worked in the immunology lab. And um, a lot of my work was lab based because we were working with mice ears and extracting RNA, um, converting it to DNA and doing all of that. And so, and so with that, like I, had to brush up on my lab skills, but I also have to do like a poster, a presentation and an abstract. So, but I've already had experience in all of those, but my supervisor is pretty supportive. And if I didn't know how to do all of that, she probably would have taught me anyway. So it really depends on your supervisor and the skills that they're looking for in that aspect. I hope that um, the Q&A session covered most of the doubts that anyone was having. It was a very helpful program even for me who is in eight weeks like I was able to attend the four-week program um, sessions and I thought it was very very helpful and I do hope that I've somehow raised anyone's interest to apply for it next year or just given you more information if you were already interested in applying for it thank you, and I'm it for you.